This is Jonathan Agar here for Pro Boxing Fans, joined by Johnny Nelson here at Box Park Wembley. Tyson Fury, uh, obviously you don't think he's going to retire, we're going to wait and see. When you sparred him, how, how did you find that session? How did that even come about? Oh God, that's years ago. Um, uh, he just came up with his dad to the gym, to Winkermite Gym. A lot of fighters have passed through. Lennox Lewis has passed through. You've got all Herbie Hines passed through. They've all passed through the gym. And, and Tyson Fury was a, a young man coming through. Came with his dad, uh, raw, rugged, uh, inexperienced, but cocksure of himself, very fancy, fancied himself. Fast for a big guy. Trust me, fast for a big guy. You think, how the hell can you do that? And um, and that that's what probably surprised me. Well, no, probably what surprised me more than anything was um, the confidence that he had. He was getting in with me. You know, I, I was world champion at that point. And this young man came in and he really just tried to put it on. I'm like, oh, all right, all right. Uh, but yeah, so you got to, you thought, yeah, some about him. He's, there's a, a stubborn determination about him. Did you know about then that this this guy would go on to become world champ? You know what? No, no. But then again, he's he's done what most good fighters have done. I dare say, great fighters have done, which is, you know, he's 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 made you think like him. He's made he's turned you into a believer. And now you've got to be a believer because he's done everything expected of him. And in today's world, the, the fight the heavyweights that are out there, he's proved he's the best one out there. He's backed up the ball, so his delivery may not be palatable but he's still done the job. So uh, you've got to be a believer, man. You've got to think, you know what, this kid's walk the walk, can't talk the talk.